On just uh, freshman season, 17 years old, 10 games in, how do you feel like it's going this far? Uh, I'm feeling great. I feel like it's going great. Uh, I feel like I did a lot better this season. Definitely plays I left on the field that I feel like I can get back. But so far, it's been going great. Been getting along with the players. The coaching been great. Been a great environment. I've just been loving Greenville. We talked during your you know, recruiting process, and you you never seem shy about playing college football, even, even though you're younger than and mostly everybody. So like, what kind of goes in that mindset of your confidence level to be with everybody? Um, I just know the work I put in back at home before getting up here. It's just the work I get in, I put in before getting into high school, the preparation, the coaching I had, the mentors I had. And I just know I can play ball uh, high school, college, and that's I just know I'm able to play ball. What was the most challenging part of the transition, you know, when you first started out, you know, playing those first games to kind of where you are now? Uh, First, uh, getting coming from high school to college was definitely a hard transition, but working out, adjusting to the schedule. But the first few games, like I wasn't even nervous or anything. I just went out there to play ball. But I'm definitely getting more confident and more comfortable, so I'm just excited for the future. How was the celebration after the win on Saturday? It was great. It was a great feeling for a winning. We're supposed to have a lot of more wins, but it'll, it'll be more coming. How was it to get back to your home state and get a win? And yeah, play well down there. It felt good to win back at home and getting a win in front of my family and playing good. It was a good experience. We heard Coach Houston talk about the difference in taking care of your body as a freshman, not knowing how to do it. So just talk a little bit about the process of making sure you're fresh each week. I'm not going to lie. I definitely had to learn to stay in the training room. Uh, I wasn't really the best friends with the training room. But after a few bangs, like I got in there and it was it's great. Feel like the, like each game kind of take a toll on your body. Now that you're getting to the end of the season, or you feel like you've been able to kind of handle it pretty well. Uh, I'm still young, so my body's still young. So I feel like I've been able to handle it pretty well. Especially me playing corner, I don't take too much hits or give too much hits. So I've been able to handle it, but it's just a few things like my leg being dead and stuff. But I learned to stay in the training room. Have you ever played an offensive style of Navy? And if so, what did you learn from that? Or what have you had to learn in order to prepare for Navy? If you uh, I actually did in high school. I played this team called Plantation High School back my way. And they had like a similar offense and like it's confusing. So like you got to be on your P's and Q's and you got to really lock in this week. And we just hopefully get another win. We will get another win. You and Siobhan and the IBM too, you all played a lot of good ball at corner this year. So what's that camaraderie like in the corner room and you know, kind of pushing each other to get better? Uh, we, it's a great competition. We all show love to each other. We all be happy for each other, celebrate with each other. It's just a great feeling when guys all connecting. Coach Jewel do a great job with the reps. Coach Earl do a great job calling the plays. I just thought they always put us in the best position. And like with Coach Houston and everybody celebrating us, it's like a great feeling in the corner room. I'm not sure how much, like when you're in high school, how much teams pass in high school? I'm sure it's a lot of running too, but when you get to college, everyone's throwing the ball everywhere, throwing deep. I mean, what was that adjustment like too, just having to defend that, that pass so much? Um, every play you gotta be woke. Like one playoff is all it takes for you to get beat for a touchdown. So I definitely had to learn to lock in every play, no matter how much the team run the ball, just lock in every play. Your pick six at App State, you know, that was a huge moment. Take us back to that, what your emotions were at that time. Um, so on that play with the receiver alignment, I wasn't 100% sure he was running it out. It was like a 50-50 for an out in the post. And Coach Harrell called the trap coverage. So I'm like, if it's an out, like I'm going back the other way with it. And he ran an out ball. And Coach, when Coach called the trap coverage, it just gave me so much confidence because I know I had the safety over top. So I was able to bite down as much as I wanted to. So I baited the quarterback up for him to throw the out. And I bit on it. And it was just like a dream come true. Like, that's a moment I've been dreaming of my whole life. And you talked about you had confidence coming in, but when you make a play like that, and it's really your first defensive action, like what does that mean? Uh, that's just like going back to the preparation. Like it's just confidence. Like I have a mindset. First, I have a mindset no one gonna beat me. And then the mindset I have is like if I get beat, you have to beat me again and again and again. Like you have to keep beating me. Like I'm not gonna stop. For you, you know, coming to East Carolina as a, a major recruit, take us through that process. And I know you were committed to Miami. And what ultimately led you to East Carolina and how happy you know, are you with your decision? So honestly, uh, I was a four star there, but to, to be honest, I don't really care about stars or anything. Like I feel like everyone can play ball. So like I wanted to get somewhere where I'll be able to show my talents right away and just play ball. And I feel like I fit the defense. I fitted the defense. So like, I'm just wanting to play ball early. Is it pretty cool to see 
Jaquan McMillan, like a former AC player, making plays on Monday Night Football? Yeah, I seen the plays he made last night. Like, that's that's awesome, but I just picture myself doing them things. Awesome. All right, y'all good? Thanks. All right.